Hello. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to my session about Kata containers. Yeah. And uh, yeah, as the title say, uh, I will do some comparison uh, between the Kata containers and GWiser, the Google Open Source project. And uh, there will be some benchmark data. And also, I will put the the slides online, so so after the session, you will you will see all the all the contents, and uh, um, yes, uh, about Kata, uh, I'm I'm Xu Wang from the uh, Hyperdoc SH, and um, some of the, uh, the most of the tests has has been done by by my colleague Fu Pan Li, and who who is not not here, but uh, I. Will, Many many data that come come from him, so so I put him put his name here, and uh, I'm come I'm from the uh, our committee of Kata containers, and uh, as this this morning I, I show you a list of our all of our sessions from the upstream developers, and uh, yes, this is a correct corrected version and correct version, so. Uh, after this session, the uh, 4, 420 and the 510, we have we have two forums about Kata containers, uh, both both in the in level three, and uh, uh, the first one is talk about the uh, proof of concept, and the other one is a philosophy philosophy problem about container security. And uh, tomorrow tomorrow morning, if you have if you are interested interested in the integration with Kubernetes, uh, we have uh, another forum about Kubernetes integration. And uh, uh, I and uh, Eric and other other upstream developers will be there discuss this this problem, and also. Uh, our project update is on the level three M3 room. Uh, it's a, it's a pretty s small room. So if you if you are interested in our uh, project update, please visit visit it. And uh, now uh, this is my topic. Yeah, uh, actually about the Kata containers, it's about something uh, another indirect layer. So. Um, this this topic, uh, I have three. I have four four parts of this this topic uh, about the uh, a, a general introduction about the uh, the secure containers technologies, and then I will com compare the architectures. And then uh, the main part is about the benchmarks, and uh, at the last I will talk about some, something about the futures. Uh, first, about Kata containers. Um, yeah. A uh, Kata container uh, itself is a uh, container runtime, just like Run C. And there are uh, our project is uh, initiated by by us by our Hyperdoc SH and Intel, and uh, hosted by the OpenStack Foundation. And now we are, I think, we are the fir first uh, pilot project of of the foundation. And uh, there are, uh, we, we launched the project in, in last December, and uh, uh, now it's ab about one year, and we, have, we, ha we are at version 1.3, and we'll have 1.4 uh, very soon. And there's still many, many people ask, ask me, uh, what is color containers? Uh, it's, uh, is it a VM or it's a container? Uh, in short, it, a container runtime. Uh, it's OCI compatible, and just like Run C, uh, you can use use it at any any position that Run C can, can run. You can put Kata can Kata runtime at, at that position. Can in, do the integration with the Kubernetes, with Docker, with Zoom, and and, and uh, maybe maybe your own private uh, private systems. Um, but different from Run C, we use the virtualization technology. So the the Kata, when the Kata container is, is launched from the outside, from the the host, you can see a VM is there. And uh, from the different way, uh, the the Gvisor is it's also a OCI compatible compatible container runtime, and it's. Uh, 
as a open source project by Google. And uh, the Google guys said they developed this project for four or five years and uh, open sourced it in, uh, in May, in, I think in Copenhagen, the, the KubeCon, KubeCon Europe. And uh, yes, it's a user space kernel and uh, it's written in Go and uh, imp implement a subset of the, the, the Linux system, uh, system interface the syscalls, I think uh, totally the Linux have more than 300 syscalls and they implement uh, uh, less than 300. So uh, it's developed in Google and open source, yeah. And both product uh, aimed for some, so something called secure containers and they provide two layer of isolation. Uh, the first is uh, the upper layer is a Linux ABI, so the container, uh, a standard container that's aimed to run the, on any OCI compatible, uh, com OCI compatible uh, runtime should be should could run on the uh, either either Kata or Gvisor, uh, but that's that's in theory and not not practical, and. Uh, uh, unlike Run C, we have another another layer of uh, of abstraction, and so uh, in the middle there is a black box. For Kata, it's a uh, it's it's a VM and a, a kernel inside VM, and for Gvisor, that's the Sentry. And uh, now let's go in deep the architecture comparison. Uh, if you want to run uh, Kata containers, that's pretty easy, but looks not so. Uh, actually, you just uh, just call the, the Kata runtime, and uh, just like you call the Run C, if you have Docker, you can compa uh, uh, you can just uh, direct it to the runtime runtime equal to a uh, uh, Kata runtime. Then you can you can launch it, and it used the uh, existing. Uh, uh, VMM technology and such as Cumul or some, something else, and uh, in the inside the guest there is a stand, standard Linux kernel, and we do some uh, do some configuration and some small patches. But uh, in general, that uh, that uh, standard Linux kernel, and on top of it, aside with the container apps, we have uh, an agent, and uh, also we have shims. <laughs> And uh, the the container application container app inside the VM, uh, this the sandbox is uh, that's uh, for the if you run Kubernetes, that the sandbox is the pod, and in pod there there may may exist several containers, and the the agent is uh, the agent manages all the all the container apps, and. Uh, for Gvisor, uh, looks uh, a bit simple, and the Gvisor has a single single binary, and uh, they ca they ca they may run in different process processes, but they have only one binary. I think that's a bit more friendly for the for the for the users, and. Uh, uh, they have a their their uh, their binary called run IC, and you launch you have if you run run IC to launch a container, then then they have a another uh, another process called Sentry. That's uh, that's the user space kernel and launch the container container app, and it's do the stub work. And also uh, in the host kernel, we'll just catch the the syscalls and then send to S, to Sentry, and Sentry will will process it. And then go back to the container. Later, I will go go in depth. And uh, there is another another process that's uh, called Gopher. It's for the for the disk I/O. Uh, they only support the, the file system I/O and they use the nine p nine p uh, protocol. And uh, uh, the philosophy behind the Gvisor is as a as so called. Uh, they think the. Um, they will 
the the container container will will call all of uh, all of the Linux ABIs or the syscalls, but the the sentry the sentry will will implement all the uh, implemented the the syscalls and only a subset of of the syscalls can pass to the to the host, uh, the host. Uh, and that's because um, the developers of of Gvisor believe that. Uh, the hot path of the of the syscalls, those those be caught frequently, is proven to be more uh, to be safer than than others uh, than others the code paths, and so uh, so they 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 just they, can, they could use the the namespace and use the the syscom to to limit the the syscalls to the to the to the host kernel, and on the other. Uh, on the other on, on the other hand, they they invest, invested investigate on the uh, on the syscalls and uh, exploits and most of the the CVs come from the syscall of the open yeah it, that's operate on the on the file systems so they 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 separated the the file system access to another uh, to another process so they by 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 this way they enhance the the security. Uh, yeah, that's how you how you call, call them, and uh, some detailed architecture. Uh, about the Kata containers, yeah, uh, it's a actually it's a classic uh, hardware assisted virtualization. We have KVM in the house kernel, and uh, there is no, normally there is Qmu here. And inside the inside the the cumulative process, there there is a gas kernel uh, run in the in the gas mode and in ring, ring zero and full and it helps to manage the the whole VM and there is a agent inside it and uh, and the, the, there is uh, there are uh, application processes and um, the the lay this layer pro provide uh, the the VMM provides some. Uh, virtual hardware model inter interface to the to the guest, so uh, the guest kernel run on top of the the uh, the hard hardware uh, instruction sites. So uh, there is a two la two layer of isolation. The first layer is about the KVM, and the second layer is uh, in the guest. That's the the ring zero and the ring three. And for the, especially for the I/O things, um, because we are the hardware assist virtualization, we have we can use all the existing virtualization technologies, such as the the pass through of the hardware and use the vhost, and use the vhost user to use DBDK and to have the high high performance net networking, and also we can we can use. Uh, the classic Cumul device model, and that's uh, I, th I think almost everyone pretty familiar with the architecture. So let's go to some some new things. Uh, for divisor, that's a bit different. The divisor's uh, idea is to to use the the syscall interception that they catch the syscalls to pass by to the to the uh, to the user space kernels to to uh, to process it and then go back to the uh, application process. Only 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 a small side of the uh, the uh, the syscalls will pass to the to the host kernel and will be filtered by the the second namespace. And uh, by this way, they have two. They have two layer of of isolation. The first uh, the first layer is about the the sentry will will only uh, it's a it's a minimal minimal gas kernel and uh, there is uh, it's a brand new implementation by Go so uh, they believe it could be could be done safer than the uh, big uh, mono monolith kernel and uh, also uh, the ring protection between between the between the the host kernel and the the user space kernel there. And also, I, I just said they they put the the file system access to to another another process. 
Uh, and from the architecture, one thing you you may think about is the uh, how the how the syscall interception go because that's uh, you think they they support two two uh, they call it that's two platform. So one is the Ptrace and the other is KVM. And for the KVM KVM mode uh, for the for the Ptrace mode, you know that's. Uh, that was used in UML for about, I think, 15 years ago. And you know the Ptrace itself is a tracing technology that's, uh, yeah, another word that's slow here. Yeah. And uh, yeah, uh, some something deeper here. There is another platform for the Gvisor. It's it's the G, it's the KVM platform. Uh, for the KVM, uh, for the KVM platform, they use the KVM to do the the syscall interception, and uh, in this mode, the 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 sentry map itself to three different places. Uh, the the first the first place is, is first place is in the in the house part, and it do the do something about the interception part. And the second part is, and the third part is lo located in the guest and uh, in the different different places. And among the different places, there are, there are only single single program program just uh, just put itself itself in in three different places, so uh, they can jump from from here to there. So uh, yeah, in other words, the KVM here is used for the. Uh, for catch the syscalls, it's not for for uh, for the for the isolation. The isolation part is still the same as the last page side. Uh, yeah, that's the the about the architecture of divisor. So the main focus on divisor is still about the the interception performance. And uh, here is uh, uh, is the summary of the architecture comparison. Um, uh, we may have some inspection based on the architecture. Uh, firstly, is the isolation. Both of the technology, the Kata containers and the Gvisor, have the uh, two, lay two isolation layers. So mm, you can you can you can think that's uh, much better than the the run, run C. The run C run 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 the containers on the single host kernel, and if there is some some bugs, they they find the exploits, they they break the kernel, and they they can they make access everything. And uh, but for the for the compatibility, and Kata runs a in general Kata runs a general Linux kernel, so the compatibility won't be a problem. And uh, uh, but for Gvisor, that's a new implementation, and uh, the 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 author of authors of the of the Gvisors, they may they may try to imp, imp, uh, uh, implement the syscalls as they what they think that's correct. Maybe that will break some compatibilities, so we will prove that. And about the performance, uh, you may think. Both should have very little overhead on CPU and uh, part of memory. So, um, but the, on the other hand, because the uh, simply simple uh, simple architecture, so the the device may have smaller footprint. Uh, but uh, on the syscall syscall uh, interception method, the device may have some pain on the on the syscall heavy uh, workloads, and uh, yes, we uh, kind of have many uh, IO optimization ways. And now the here we we come to the the main parts of the of the talk. That's the benchmarks. Uh, we still have half of the time. Yeah. Uh, so we we do some functional tests, and then we do some standard. Benchmarks about the boot time, about the memory footprint, and CPU and, and memory and IO performance, networking performance. Then we do some uh, real life cases, and uh, I I leak some result here. Uh, we did more than more than three real life cases, but some of them does not completed in the in the Gvisor, you know. 
uh, maybe some some syscall has not been implemented in Gvisor, or maybe they implement in uh, different semantics. Uh, I I don't I don't want to say the Gvisor uh, implement them implemented them in a wrong. Uh, that's that's maybe not a wrong implement implementation. They just implement different semantics. Maybe the Linux implementation is wrong <laughs> from the original uh, semantic of the of the POSIX or, or something or single Unix standard. But you know, the every every user space application uh, they they assume they they run on Linux kernel. So if you if you doesn't imp implement the the bugs in Linux kernel, <laughs> then they 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 can't run on top of it. So. Uh, they, I just say they, they, they are different, and we uh, we also do do a Jen Jenkins test that pull and build, but the the, the Git clone fa failed. So uh, we only have three results of the the real life cases. And about the set setup, um, the 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 test is pretty pretty long, and we only put some. Uh, the bare metal result here, and uh, it's run on top of the uh, a server on top of packet on night. It's a uh, it's a Xeon, I think e e three or e five uh, CPUs, and on packet on night, and also for for some disk disk I/O test, we have a more powerful servers that have additional disks, and uh, the data is here, so. Uh, most most of the test containers have eight gigab gigabytes memory, uh, if not have further nodes. And uh, for the networking test, we use the uh, two servers to play different roles now to avoid the client clients affection to the to the servers. Uh, first, we we do some syscall coverage test. Uh, I mean the uh, in the divisor. The design of the divisor, they think only if you, if you limit it, it's to some a small set of syscalls to to the host that will will be more secure. Uh, and because divisor is a is a fairly fairly uh, new open project and pretty uh, it's a it's a uh, code in a single repository. So from the code, you know they they only call about seventy syscalls to the to the to the host and for Kata we collect the statistics for the cumul process. Uh, for different case, uh, they, they we used about uh, 30 to 50, uh, 53 syscalls. Maybe maybe more, but uh, normally they will be similar. And uh, for the mem memory footprint, um, memory footprint uh, here we use the. Uh, half gigabyte gigabytes memory for the for the containers, and uh, we have two cases. The first is the launch a single single containers. So uh, for the Kata containers, the the single container will may consume about more than more than seven, seventy megabytes, and for the for the divisor, it's about uh, I think about about twenty five. I think. Uh, yeah, here we enable the template for the for the kata. That's a that's a, a method to save the, the the memory and accelerate the the boot the boot speed. Also, uh, you may enable the KSM here. That could uh, save save memory as well. And uh, just uh, they do this in a different way. And for the we uh, if we use the 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 template that means we can we can share the memory for the uh, the read only parts of the of the containers so when if we run run about this is uh run 20 containers the average memory will be uh, lower uh it's about 50 50 megabytes and for divisor that's uh, similar it's about uh, it's about 20 25 i think um, yeah, so the result is uh, clear. The divisor has a, a fewer, fewer memory footprint, but the, actually the kata can do it pretty good. And about the boot time, the, there's different configuration of the, the kata containers. We have four different conf configurations. 
and uh, we compare it with divisor and run C. And because the small footprint, the divisor can, can launch very, very fast. It's fewer than, fewer than 500 milliseconds. And the, the run C, including the, the, the image processing part, it can launch about a bit more than 500 milliseconds. And for Kata, uh, if we enable the factory, it will be pretty fast. It's uh, in the si similar, similar speed. And uh, if we use the, the new uh, ongoing work on Shim V2, uh, it will be about uh, 700 milliseconds. And the, the vanilla, the most simple, simple configuration, it will be more than, more than one second. And uh, there is some, some variance be between the different tests. We do the test for about uh, uh, 10 or 20, 20 tests runs and get the, the statistic data here. So the, the result is, shows the its proper configurations the the Kata containers could could get a, a good uh, boot performance uh, but the the divisor could could done uh, even better. Yeah. Um, but pretty similar. Yeah. Uh, about CPU and the memory performance uh, yeah, about CPU, uh, about the, the uh, yeah about CPU. You, you know, for uh, right now for the for the modern modern C CPUs, that's a part of virtualization. Uh, most of the the technology could could guarantee the CPU in the same same level. You can't find the actually you can't find the the minor difference between the the different technology, they ha they can reach the same level of the the CP, uh, CPU speed, C CPU test. Um, but for my, for memory, uh, uh, this test is the, based on the sysbench for for memory for memory bandwidth, and the uh, for the sequ sequential write there is some some difference, and for the random write they are more similar, and. Uh, there is looks there are some simple some small gap in the in the in the memory parts, yeah. And uh, here is some I/O performance test. This is based on the the system I showed before, and uh, we we tested tested this uh, in different configurations, and. Uh, and the test is uh, use the test test testing program FIO and uh, the FIO can't can't run on divisor, so there's only Kata do do the do the so test a bit lonely, and uh, compared to the to the house FS uh, for the buffered IO uh, yeah forgot it yeah uh, for the direct IO yeah uh, we have we have a better performance. Yeah, that's uh, that's bit confused me, and I think you you have the questions as well. Why the Kata containers can reach even better performance than the house? Yeah, yes. Uh, let me try to explain it. Uh, for the uh, for the for the buffer IO, we when we when we use nine P, you know that the default configuration, yeah, the the performance on nine P is really bad. Yeah. Uh, I have to say that that because even it is the default configuration for production usage of Kata, you should avoid 9P for the most uh, most cases. Um, but here, if we pass through the the disk to the uh, to the to the guest, that will achieve a better performance. And here, uh, because we we. Uh, the default kernel of Kata containers support multi q I O, so um, with some some C P C P U usage, we can we can achieve better performance than the house, which which does not support this yet. That's that's the the most uh, most of the contribution come from the come from the 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 the, the, the multi q parts, and uh, that's not the um, yeah. 
uh, that's because the we are, we only got the the system from the the provider. So, uh, and the only confused one is the 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 big block random read test. Yeah, uh, I also can't can't explain it. Yeah, but we do the test uh, several times. Yeah, <laughs> that show the results. <laughs> we, we may we may do further further investigation on, on this. And also the IO performance, um, because the we can't run run the FIO on the divisor, so we run some DD test on top uh, on top of the on top of the, the, the on top of the divisor. Yeah, uh, the blue one is divisor, and the 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 brown one is is NIP of uh, of Kata. Um, Actually, the 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 divisor uses NIP as well, but in some case, it shows the the NIP of the the divisor has a has better performance, much better performance. Mm, but for the for the small blockers, I think uh, it introduced too many too many syscalls, so so it still re reduced the 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 performance. And uh, there is one thing we 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 have to say for the for the NIP, it natively it's a it's a networking uh, file system protocol. That means uh, even you even you use the the direct I/O, it can, can only only uh, only do the direct I/O on the on the guest side to avoid the page catch in the guest. But in the host side, in the in the server side. Um, there is no guarantee about it can run avoid the the page catch. So uh, we just put the the result here, and uh, they may make some some signs. Uh, yeah, this is about the I/O performance, and also for the networking part. Uh, yes, uh, actually the we. From the beginning, many, many people wondered how how about the the, IO, the networking performance of Kata and the IO performance networking performance of the divisor. And actually, the right now the the technology the virtualization technology make make the uh, the VMs could achieve the a similar similar throughput of the 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 hosts. I think. Uh, even with the 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 word IO, it could achieve uh, v host it could achieve uh, a good throughput on the networking part if we use the the v host user we may and dpdk we may get better net networking performance yeah um, but for divisor yes we got a not so good network network performance and from from the divisor team they they said they the first uh, the first thing they, they think about is the security and the performance is not what they are focus, focusing on. So that may explain the results. But um, uh, yesterday I talked I talked this with uh, with Samuel and and Samuel Samuel told me he did this test for for several times uh, as well and uh, uh, he want to believe the that's what. We, we do some wrong tests, wrong configurations. So the 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 network performance of devices should not be so slow. But I think uh, if nobody point out what's what's wrong, then they, that's the result. And here, uh, similar, we got some real life case for Nginx. Uh, yes, in the table and this this lot. This column is run C, and this is Kata, and this is a divisor, and uh, and here uh, we move the 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 triple W root of the Kata test from the the 9P to the to the 10 fs to avoid the bad performance of the the 9P. Uh, if we move it to 9P, then the, that's totally different story, but. If you if you don't use the 9P, you can get pretty pretty good performance of the Kata's uh, Kata Nginx test. Uh, but for divisor, yeah, we don't we don't find such a, such a way to improve the 
the data. But uh, on the other hand, we can we can we can compare some detailed things. For the uh, the the orange lines is um, is, is run C, and the 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 dark blue line is is Kata. Uh, you 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 can you can find the the run C is pretty stable on all the all the connections, but uh, looks there is uh, about one or two connection of Kata have a have a bad uh, bad results. So this is the, the later we will working on and to get to give the more to give more equal rights to every to every connections to make the make it ha has a constant constant performance for all the connections. That's the the things uh, later. And uh, yeah, for the for the divider line, that, that's pretty smooth, but but not not so good. Yeah. And uh, another test is about about the the radius. Uh, radius has its its own benchmark, and both the test uh, and both divider and uh, and the kata supports the test uh, pretty well. So if you if you you want to run divider and the, your workload is radius, um, that's fine. And uh, the test shows there is some some gap between the uh, between the the Red Sea and Kata, and also more gap between the Kata and the divisor. I think that this is uh, partly partly the result is come from the the memory memory performance and partly from the the I/O performance, uh, uh, the net networking performance. Uh, so that's that's the result for the for the Redis, the memory and networking, and another case is about the uh, we test TensorFlow, yes, uh, but this is the pure CPU test. There is no GPU GPU inside, and the, the result shows uh, most of the the case are most of the the, the candidate of the tests are pretty similar. So. I think they, this is because most of the workload is run on the CPU itself, so the 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 dif different candidates don't have many 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 difference. And here is the the configuration. And have a summary. Um, both Kata and the Gvisor have the smaller attack interface than Run C, and could be more secure, but. Uh, and the CPU performance is identical to the house and run C. But for the for the Kata containers, um, some suggestion is uh, if you could use the pass through uh, the, the device uh, for I/O, you can pass through it. And uh, if you can use the the factory or use the Shim V2, you can use it to accelerate the mm, the, the boot performance and the, uh, reduce the memory footprint. And uh, yeah, and uh, in most cases uh, they have good throughput and throughput per performance, and if you have a proper configuration, and later we will have more more suggestion for for different users on how to configure it. And on the device side, it have faster uh, perfor boot performance and lower memory footprint, and uh, there is still some uh, need improve. Improvement on the compatibility side for the for the general general use usage, and uh, later we may have some for the more test forces about some fine-tuned uh, benchmarks on the networking side, and new mass specific tests and uh, nested virtualization tests, and uh, different kinds of net networking tests and the more real life cases. That's uh, the the further working. And the same topic, we will we will have a session on the KubeCon Seattle. So we we will up, update the the topic the topic and uh, and more results here. And um, if there is any anything wrong, we will correct them. And uh, so um, about the two project, uh, or the time time looks time is up, and yeah, Kata is on the way to be more efficient. And the more featureful, such as the GPU support and other accelerators. And as we are open open source project, any contributions are welcome. And just visit our 
our site and you can use Slack, your IRC and the mailing list to, uh, to access our project. And uh, on our GitHub, you can file issues and provide uh, PRs. You can also participate in our weekly meetings. And uh, uh, for Gvisor side, yeah, we also have another similar project called Lucidy. We have another link here. Yes, time is up. Thank you, everyone. Is there any questions? Oh, no? Thank you.